just did a pretty good fast paced one mile run. It was uh, seven minutes, 17 seconds. I know that's no uh, impressive race time for anyone else, but that's good for me. So I'm happy with that. Hey guys, so I'm gonna start doing more vlog style content and make it a more regular reoccurring thing. And you know, I came to the conclusion that every day isn't going to be interesting. And that's actually part of what I thought would make this video, this first video, fun and challenging is to see if I could make just a regular day in the life visually compelling. So I don't have anything super exciting going on today. I'm going to do some basic stuff. I have some errands I have to run, I have to go to the grocery store, the hardware store, and I'm making a DIY pull-up bar. So we're just gonna do that. We're gonna see what happens. Okay, so after all the fires have been taking place here on the West Coast and smoke all in the air here in LA, this girl's in much need of a car wash. I get the feeling that a lot of these videos are gonna take place in the car. Wanna to go to the store? up to the apartment and realized I forgot one of the most important things I needed to get today. This is Jordan. She's my 14 year old pit bull. I love her to death. I've had her since she was a puppy. Sad thing is she's almost completely blind, completely deaf. She's got arthritis all throughout her body. Uh, she has really bad digestive issues and so <laughs> We have to pump her full of all kinds of different stuff just to keep her going. So we're gonna go get her some CBD for her joints and then we're gonna get her some digestive stuff to help her actually, you know, eat and then, you know, handle her business like a normal animal. You ready, Jay? Let's go. She doesn't get very excited. <laughs> So, Tellwaggers might just be the best pet store I've ever been to. Great customer service, actually informative people. Every time I leave there, I just feel like I'm actually going to a place where they have people that care about animals and specifically you and your pet. So yeah, check out Tellwaggers. Can't say enough good things about them. Okay, so one of today's projects is to make a DIY pull-up bar. So let's make a pull-up bar. All right, so long story short, I just went to Home Depot and I picked up a bunch of pipes that I've already kind of pre-put together and just kind of rigged it up to fit the dimensions of the hallway in my apartment. 
Now I just want to paint it white with this client's epoxy so it matches the interior of the apartment. All right, so now we're just gonna let this dry for a little bit and then bring it inside. The paint took longer to dry than I anticipated, so I let it sit overnight before I applied the final touches. I wanted it to look a little more legit as well as make it more functional. In order to do that, the next step is applying grip tape. I ordered this GoHex baseball bat grip tape on Amazon for around $10. Peel off the paper revealing the adhesive backside, then firmly apply the tape in a spiral pattern on the bar where your hands will go. Take your time with this so that you're sure to cover the whole area that needs to be, you know, grippy. Then secure the end of the grip with an extra strip of tape that came with the package. This locks the end of the grip in place, then do the same to the other side. In order to mount the bar to the wall, I bought these heavy duty rod support mounts at Home Depot. And there you have it. There are many different approaches you can take to making a pull-up bar, but I went this route because I wanted it to be super sturdy, but still detachable. I live in an apartment, so I didn't want to clutter it up with any clunky workout equipment permanently mounted to the wall. And now for our final test. It works. Thanks for watching.